what's up guys? It's the Media Marauder and we're here for another Through the Mail Autographs. We got a, a few TTMs. We got a ton of stuff to show you that we bought. I feel really bad. Uh, we got a few, but we did the team dirty. We got no points today, I don't believe. So I feel like I'm a disappointment to my team. But hey, guess what? I got some cool old hockey card signs, so. I think that was Ted Harris. He signed two index cards for me. And he signed this like 1973 card or whatever it is. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm getting a lot of these old hockey cards back. These guys have been signing fast. I can't remember how many I sent out. 25, 30 of them maybe. I mean, we're getting them back really fast. Gary Dornhofer. Dornhofer. There's one of them and one of them. I don't know my years on hockey, so they're in the 70s, so we're going to say one of them. And we got one of those uh, team cards. Those are nice. Pretty sweet. Love that year there, whatever that is. I think it's mid-70s or early 70s, 73 maybe. Here's an index card. Happy Holidays. Gary Meehan. Meehan? Meehan for the Sabres. Two for two. Like I said, all these hockey guys have been really fast. We like that. And we got a Blackhawks card. Lynn Powis. We got the Bob Den or John Denver haircut. Look at that. Pretty sweet. 70s. Gotta love it. Last one, guys. Uh, this guy didn't even use my my Sazy. He uh, sent me a Christmas card because I sent him a Christmas card. He sent my Sazy back unused so I could use it again. And he signed a card for me. I sent him Gary Edwards. So that's pretty cool. Goaltender. But, like I said, you can't even see those cards. What am I doing? You would act like this is the first time I've ever done this, and this is up like episode 438 or something. Look at that. That's what we got back. Pretty sweet. Five in the box today. We got a ton of stuff over here I want to show you guys. You guys know I put every set together from 1952 to 1993 or two or four. I can't remember. I quit like doing some of the 90s. But we got Bob Abrehu. I know he was on the Hall of Fame list at one point. I don't think he'll ever make it. He's a guy that is a borderline Hall of Famer. He may make it. He probably had better stats than Harold Baines. Uh, Billy Pierce, he's deceased. I love these cards. I think they're a Glasso or something like that. What are those things called? Yeah, Gala, Galasa, Gala, Galasa, Galasso, Galasso. Yeah. Those are nice cards. They had a bunch of like big name players, but I couldn't get any of those. They all went for like $10 a piece. Didn't want to pay that much. Got that Kevin up here. Because I love these cards here. Got a Greg Swindell. I don't think I showed you these before, did I? Austin Kearns. Ackerfelds. I might have. I don't know. Sean Casey. Richard Hildalgo. Bobby Doerr. Jeremy Burnitz. Jim Poole. Brian Giles. Joe Adabelli. Al Bumry, Bob Brindley, Bucky Dent, Dave Henderson, and Joe Negro. I can't remember if I showed those to you yesterday or not. I don't think so. I've been getting so many cards lately, I don't remember. I know we didn't show these. I know I got two batches of these today, so I think these are the two. Jimmy Key, I think he charges $5 in the mail. Omar Vizquel, he's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. I think he was almost as good as Ozzy Smith. Barty, he's deceased. Tony Batista, I thought I thought he was a pretty good player. This is a cool card. I got it for like a dollar. Uh, Batisti, he's deceased. Uh, Shannon Stewart, his name, yeah, Shannon Stewart. John Olerud, Kajana Carter. I thought that was a sweet autograph. I think I got that for like two bucks. Another Batisti. Battisti. He's deceased. Tim Sam is one of my favorite players. Delano DeShields. Steve Barros. Jay Buhner. 
Don't think he does his mail. Calvin Reese, don't think he does his mail anymore. Nice Joey ha or Josh Hamilton. Another uh, Batiste. Batista, let's see. Howard Johnson, that's pretty nice. Some more of those. Galasso. Mickey Vernon, he's deceased. And Don Larson's deceased. He went through a perfect game in the World Series, I believe. Javi Lopez and Jim Bunning, I believe he's... He's a Hall of Famer. I think he's think he's deceased. I'm not 100 percent sure. Hopefully I didn't show you this already because I, I know I have another stack of these at the house. I thought I already showed you. And we got some cool stuff. We know they didn't show you this. I've been collecting signed pops. Bobby Hall is one of the coolest guys I ever met. I've met him four or five times. He's now deceased, and this is like I said, really sweet. Bobby Hall, signed Hall of Fame, 83. He he was cracking all kinds of crazy jokes the last time I saw him. About three or four years ago to show he, he has the funniest sense of humor we had a blast so here's a 9-5 Jamar Chase here's a 10 Joe Burrow got two Joe Burrow rookies we sell Joe Burrow really well there's a 9-5 another Jamar Chase we sell him really well too there's a 10 Jamar Chase they said these are kind of not the best cards but they still sell the kids still buy them there's another 10, Jamar Chase. There's a 9, Jamar Chase. There's a 9, Jamar Chase. I sell Boba Fett really well. He's one of the most popular Star Wars characters. Uh, there's a 9-5 Boba Fett. There's another 9-5 Boba Fett. So hopefully we'll sell those. This guy's having a pretty good year. What's his name on? Ross St. Brown. It's a 9-5. I try to pick up Hall of Famers. There's a 9-5 Marcus Allen. There's a 9 Trey Young. And like I said, I get these really cheap. I know they're off-brand and stuff like that, but like this McCovey, I think I paid like $2.50 for it. It's a 10. It's a really cool looking card. It's something I would have had in my $2 box raw, but I'll have paid $2.50 for that. That's a pretty awesome card. I love it. Here's a, is this a rookie card? It's 2019. I thought I had like a rookie. Yeah, it's got the rookie thing in there. It's one of the holiday issue. Fernando Tatis. It's a 9.5 SCG. That's a pretty nice card. Great player at Ohio State, Ted Ginn. Nine, and it's a 10 auto. So that's pretty sweet. I like that one. They said we like Hall of Famers, so we got the Admiral. David Robinson. And we like these sparkly cards. Don't know who Dwayne Bacon is. But it's a 10 and it's sparkly. So we went ahead and got it. There's a 10, Russell Wilson. He's actually having a decent year this year. He started, he had a pretty bad year last year. Anquan Bolden, I think he's a borderline Hall of Famer. And it's a 10. He was a good player back in his day. 9.5. Some kind of Pokemon. Spoink. Spoink, spoink. We got a Kenny Pickett 9 rookie. We got a Kenny Pickett 10. Hopefully he comes out of his slump and gets healthy again. There's a 9. Just grab this one because it was an 8. I got it for like 250 I think because it's an 8. But it's this purple really cool looking one. So I don't know. I thought I might be able to get 8 or 10 bucks for that. So I'll still make money on it. This is a Gem Mint 10 in 1984. Looks like it's, who is it, the Bills versus the Dolphins. So, I thought that was pretty neat. I had one of these, uh, shoot, can't remember. I think it was, oh, Reggie White was on it, and I'm getting like $40 for it because it was a Gem Mint 10. And here's a Deshaun Watson rookie, 10. Maybe he'll come back get healthy. I'm buying him now when his prices are down and everybody's down on him. Here's a cool Beckett certified. No, it's Swartz Sports. They're a good company. Uh, Mike Rozier, Heisman Trophy winner. I believe it says Heisman something and two-time Pro Bowl. So that's the stuff I picked up and that's the stuff I got in the mail. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go home and put all my stuff in my binders and have some fun. 
Uh, I am writing letters today. I wrote like 50 letters today, and uh, I'll, hopefully we'll have 100 out by the end of the week. And I'm trying to concentrate more on 80s, guys, so don't get discouraged, Team 80s. I will send out some 80s, but I just, had to, I just wanted to get that hockey stuff out. Because, like I said, those guys are getting older. Some of those guys are probably, they got to be in their 70s or 80s. So, have a good one, guys. Until next time, have a good one. Check out all my other videos. Peace.